Like cheetahs, leopards rarely scavenge. They prefer to hunt and kill most of their food. Wildebeest, zebra, antelope, and hare. Bird, beetle, and baboon. All of them are fuel for a leopard's voracious appetite. Leopards will guzzle more than 30 different species. Practically a smorgasbord compared to lions, which are limited to 12 kinds of prey. A favorite meal weighs between 50 and 175 pounds. But leopards have no problem going after an appetizer-sized snack. Or something much bigger, weighing many times more than itself. No matter the size, to snare its meal, a leopard pounces full throttle on its prey from about 15 feet away leaving no time for reaction. In its off hours, a leopard can pass through herds of antelope virtually unnoticed. Its spotted coat provides a near-perfect camouflage. You can tell when a leopard's not in the mood to hunt because it flips its tail to reveal the white underside, a signal it's not worried about being noticed. Leopards are the least choosy about their diets. That doesn't stop a lion from raiding whatever's in the leopard's cupboard. The leopard's number one enemy is the lion. Lions will steal a leopard's kill every chance they get. And hyenas and wild dogs are never too far behind. Leopards are nearly at the bottom of the Serengeti pecking order of predators. Only cheetahs rank lower. Still, leopards fight back with flexibility. They minimize competition with other carnivores by having a more diverse diet and hunting at different places and at different times. But these are defensive moves, survival techniques. A leopard in a bird's nest? Not a problem. Everything about this cat says upward mobility. Tree climbing is his survival trump card. The leopard is an elite athlete when it comes to conquering heights. He's the best climber of the big cats, and that means two important things to his survival. Without pulling a hamstring, this scrambler can drag a 50-pound gazelle up a tree, a safe haven for undisturbed eating and storage of leftovers. And it can protect its young in the branches, out of reach of other predators. A leopard's unparalleled tree climbing skills are one of the most important reasons for its success as a species.
Leopards are territorial. They'll use a tree as a scent post, like the sausage tree, with big branches seven or eight feet off the ground. They mark trees by stretching themselves out along the branch or trunk, leaving their scent for all to sniff. Claw marking a tree adds another layer to their warning. It says to other leopards, stay away. And if that weren't enough, spraying urine at the base of the tree completes the marking. Now it's a whole new ball game for anyone who happens to drop by a sausage tree. Sausage trees are a regular sight in Serengeti National Park. The heavy fruit, shaped like sausages, grow up to two feet long and weigh as much as 15 pounds. No human or beast eats the poisonous fruit. Still, the sausage tree has an important job in the Serengeti. It gives the leopard a place to exercise its edge. <laughs> 